Good morning, y'all. My name is Shanna. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to make a scrunchie using the burrito method. So, what you need. A piece of fabric, 5 by 26. A piece of elastic, quarter inch, 10 inches long okay so we put right sides together and sew our short sides together with a 3 8 half inch seam not not really important just um, get it together So, we're not worried about the edges, um, the raw edges, anywhere. They're going to be inside the scrunchie. So. so, then, we put, we flatten it out with the seam allowance in the center. And you can finger press that. It doesn't have to be ironed, but you can finger press it. And I'm fumble fingered this morning. So there you have it. We turn it over. Make sure that seam allowance is open just because of the bulk okay now we take this top side and we fold it as small as we can get it okay then we bring these right sides together and starting on this side of the seam allowance start stitching with a 3 8 which is just the width of my presser foot okay you can do a half inch but I just used the width of the presser foot. We're going to back stitch and take off, matching our edges. We stop with the needle down and pull. the scrunchie toward you keeping your raw edges together avoiding the part that's on the inside don't don't sew it don't get it hung up we pull again edges together keep that center part out of the way needle down pull some more And we're just about to come up to where we started. And we want to leave 
about two fingers width open. Pull some more. Keep those edges together. Still pulling. Just about to get to where we started. Okay, there's where we started. So I'm going to sew to within two or three fingers of that. And you can feel in here where that inside is so that you don't run over it. And if you think you're getting too close, you can come in here stick your finger in there and just push it out of the way. So here I have about three fingers worth. So I um, backstitch, leave that gap. And if you have a bodkin, you can use a bodkin. I don't have one. So just like this, I took an alligator clip and hot glued it to a skewer. Works perfect. So I clip my elastic, one end of my elastic. I insert it into the scrunchie, come all the way through, grab that bottom tail. Let me start over here. Insert this into the scrunchie. Pull the scrunchie down. Unclip your elastic. Take the two ends of your elastic and put them together. Boy, I hope this is showing up. Tie a knot, just like you tie a knot in a balloon. And I'm not very good at it, so bear with me. Okay, so... Leave the leave about a one inch tail, okay, and then you come in here to your opening and you just start pulling everything out. Snip your threads.
I didn't quite leave a big enough hole, but that's okay. It all, it works out. So we're just going to start pulling the scrunchie right side out. There we go, finally. Got it. All right. Then all you have to do is your, um, you've got a wide enough seam allowance. You can just set this under the needle and stitch it down. Now, it, you know, if it's fine material, it's, if it's satiny stuff or whatever, this is just cotton Um but you could hand stitch it. Uh, I'm not, you know, my hands are old and I don't hold a needle very well. So I'm just going to stick it under the needle and sew it down and call it good. So that's what we're going to do. I am going to set my needle over to the left because it just, it, I do better. All right. And there we have it. We have our scrunchie. Is that not adorable? My daughter is a fish fan and there's something significant about donuts no idea what but she wanted a donut scrunchie so this fabric is donuts and so that's what she wanted that's what she's gonna get so. i love y'all the pieces you have a blessed day and we will talk to you later.